Hello and welcome to the Art of Fashion, first edition 2020. Heck, this is the first edition ever. And you're lucky enough to be witnessing. But really, thanks for being here with us here tonight. We have an absolutely amazing show for you. We have art. We have fashion. We have B.O. <laughs> ah, just kidding. We smell great. Just like fresh baked apple pie. Anyway, we got a lot to get to, so let's get things started with some music. Our first guest is an independent artist who played all over the world and has worked with artists such as David Johansson, Gary Lucas, Gold Goldbergello, and Samba New York. Here he is with his hit song, Way to the World. Please put your hands together for Mr. Lee. <laughs> We're going to get things started with the founder and CEO of True Model Management. Please welcome Dale Noel. Hey, Glenn. Hey, hey, Dale. How's it going tonight? Thanks for coming. 
All right. So, uh, true model management. That's great. Uh, tell me a little bit about how much you, how, how you got into uh, the, the modeling uh, industry. It happened very organically. It was not planned at all. And basically, I was working in fashion, selling clothes to department stores, and wherever I would go at the trade shows, they would think I was a model. And I said, no, no, I'm more of the photographer type, not mm. a model. But uh, after hearing it, Many times when I was just out of college, I said, oh, maybe I'll try. So I called a few of the top agencies, uh, two of them to be exact, and one called me in, and it happened to be the top one in the world at the time, and they gave me a contract on the spot. So I chuckled, and they told me not to quit my day job, okay. and on the first day, I landed some major accounts, and got Calvin Klein, Gap, J. Crew, Victoria's Secret, all, like, in one day. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> so I quit my other job within a week and I thought I was going to do it for a year and then go back in to the real world again mm -hmm. and I wound up doing it 20 years I modeled at least and then I unexpectedly got pregnant and cancer at the same time mm. and had to quit my day job and that's when true model management was really founded I was always connecting people in the fashion industry mm. models designers and from there when I didn't have a job anymore, I just picked up where I left off and it was the natural progression. Excellent, excellent. Now, one thing about the, the modeling uh, industry, there, there's something called a fit model. Now, when I first heard that term, I thought it was kind of like a model that's fit, you know, somebody's yep, in that's shape what and everything. Thinks. You know, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, you hear a fit model, but that's really mm -hmm. not what it means. Can you explain a little bit mm -hmm. what like a fit model really is? Sure. Fit models, they're models who designers and manufacturers work with to set the standards for their sizing. And the models are consultants as well as models, and they wear, test the clothes, they give feedback back on what fits, what doesn't fit, how it could be improved, if it's scratchy, every little thing that the customer might uh, notice when they buy it, the fit models try to catch and convey their messages to the team before it goes to the consumer. Mm, okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. So um, if, if there's any models out there that are watching, is there any advice that you might want to give to them, if, you know, somebody who might be just breaking into the industry? Absolutely. There are so many different types of modeling. Fit modeling is one of the types, but we, True, True represents fit models as well as print models, showroom models, shoe models, pretty much every category, runway, commercial lifestyle. So most people think if they're not 5'11 and size 2 that they can't model, but Nowadays, there's so much inclusivity and diversity mm -hmm. in modeling that if you it's your passion, you should definitely try. Right. I find that to be a model, it takes a lot of physical endurance, definitely mm -hmm. be in the best possible shape you can, and confidence is huge. Right. So if you're working on your inner self, I feel that it you glow on, on the outside if um, if everything Every, on the everything, inside is yeah, nice. It's yeah, it's like physical, mental health, everything. So just work on being the best version mm. of you and be yourself, be your authentic self. Yeah. Now, nowadays, the, you know, social media models need to have a story. They can't just be a pretty face now and a perfect body. It's sure. like they have to have a story. They have to have a purpose. Oh, definitely. Uh, models are not just on photo and not on pages of magazines and photos they mm -hmm. are walking on the runway which they always did but now they're in videos more sure more. sure so. and pretty soon there'll be holograms that'll be you know exactly. featuring models too and yes. that's coming up too and i'm sure it's already you know here in some capacity as well uh and, you know the technology is just you know moving in leaps and bounds and uh how, how is uh, some of that technology kind of affecting the industry the technology is affecting it in many ways. Everything from making all of the parts of the workday more efficient to being more sustainable. Now you can design clothes without even really having the fabric. You don't have to ship, you don't have to fly everywhere. They can do a lot of it on a computer screen and they can use avatars of models and also real people. And uh, I do consulting for some companies such as FitMatch, StyleMe, companies mm -hmm. like that, that they're using customers' data and also their avatars to dress them in the clothes so they don't even have to put on clothes to see how it'll look. Yeah, so that, Good that, size prediction. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that, that, that's pretty interesting because you can actually you know, try on the clothes as yourself so you can get exact measurements and so the clothes is gonna you know, fit you perfectly and you can see how everything kind of is gonna look 
you know, before you go and purchase something. You can see uh, how everything is going to fit and look, and that's pretty amazing, right? Yes, it is. You know, and actually, you know something else is that that's amazing? We have our own model over here, oh. Mr. Nate. Nate the Mime. And I think uh, Nate the Mime might be a good avatar. Oh, I mean, yeah. he's very fancy. He's got a great hat. Yeah, he's a great confident. Look. He poses well. Oh, he's unique. Yeah. These are all good things that you should be when you're... A model. Yeah, and he comes with the studio. I mean, how perfect is that, right? So, Dale, thank you for coming tonight. I, I mean, it was just amazing having you here. So thank you so much. You have a great year coming up. Uh, good luck with everything. And uh, t tell us where we can find you online. Sure, you can find True Model Management on T-R-U-E, model, M-O-D-E-L-M-G-T. And I'm Dale Noel. All right. Well, thanks a lot for coming. Uh, were you going to join us later on the runway? with uh, Sure. Repeat? We might have a couple of models join us as well. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to that. All right. Well, thanks for uh, tuning in. We're going to be uh, coming right back with Richie Rich, and we'll see you in just a moment. I don't think he needs any introduction, so I'm just going to introduce him. Please welcome Richie Rich. Hi. 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 Hi, Richie. Hi, baby. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Have a seat. Happy 2020, visionary. Yes, yeah. 2020. Hey. So, Richie, th th this is great. I'm so happy that you came on the... Uh, on the I'm uh, happy to be here. Yes. Mm. So, so you were uh, an ice capade at one point, right? When you I used... was. Um, when I was in high school in California, I was born in New Jersey, but then my dad worked for the New York Times not far from here, like, uh, and it's when Times Square was really bad, and it's getting mugged all the time, and it's when they'd rip your chain off your neck and what right. have you. So he's I remember like, those all, days. We're all moving to Cali. So we moved to Cali. I was like 10. And um, yeah, I skated. I had no friends that summer, so we'd go to the mall. And this coach saw me, and she's like, "You're really good, but you don't know what you're doing. But you're good at it." And I started taking lessons. And after high school, I was going to go to UCLA, and then I was like, "Nah." So I joined the ice capades. And yeah. uh, before that, I was training with Christian Gucci and Rudy Galindo and everybody, and competing. Yeah. And um, but then I came into the club scene in San Francisco, and then then all the club kids in New York saw me, and I came here for the opening of Club USA, which was in Times Square, ironically. Right. And then the Limelight, and right, the Tunnel, the Palladium, Limelight. Yeah. you know all those. What and was your favorite club in the city? Um, I don't know, I liked them all. I think USA at the time, because it was like this mecca mecca club, and like designers like Gautier and uh, Terry Mugler, and mm. everybody, they all did different rooms and levels, and there was a slide from the VIP uh, down to the dance floor. Mm -hmm. People like Prince would show up and just do a concert for no reason. And right, just like it's, a It's back when the, in the 90s, it's when like celebrities and supermodels hung out with the kids from Avenue X Brooklyn. Like that's what mm. I loved about it. Now yeah. it's all bottle service and hoity-toity doors and all that. Mm. Right, right. We're, we're back then, were the, the clubs a lot different in the in New York City? Oh yeah, than, I mean, than, than Vin than Diesel was our was our uh, door guy with our friend Kenny Kenny, and and then Hollywood called him, and I don't know. And then that's how I got into fashion. So mm. then I was always a designer in my mind, but then I made clothes for my friends and things like that. And yeah. my friend Patricia Field, uh, she was doing Sex in the City, so she had me do mm. the T-shirt for Carrie, and I said, "Who's Carrie?" We were in Tokyo. I was, I was singing I made records as well yeah and she's like don't worry about it so I made it for Carrie and it ended up being the Carrie Sex and the City ads around the world and awesome that's, so that, that's fantastic my good friend David LaChapelle photographer mm -hmm. he got caught wind of what I was doing and I did my first runway show with him nice. with Amanda Lepore our friend we painted her pink with MAC lipstick and um, so we did a video to open up and then he had me on set with like Mariah Carey and little Kim and fun, fun people, and a good friend, Paris Hilton, was like 16 years old, so oh, wow. she'd come over all the time, and she walked my first runway, and then over the years, my runways, and then that led to Kim Kardashian, and mm -hmm. lots of fun, our friend Pamela Anderson. Yeah, do, do, you, do you think you being a uh, figure skater kind of helped you, because you have to be kind of graceful and be able to kind of, you know, just <laughs> smooth across the, the runway, so do you think that your uh, skating kind of transferred over to the, to the, uh, to I the mean, runway? I in, in like, you know, all dreams come true sort of ways it should be that way but I'm actually really a klutz like my mom is like how did you get away like, how do you figure skate like I, I like I'm a click click klutz but down the runway I usually wear roller skates yeah. I almost wore them here oh. <laughs> but um but yeah I mean there's a graceful method to it all but mm. actually like in ice capades I used to hang out in the dressing the, the costume department rather with mm -hmm. this queen named Jerry and he'd have me bead and rhinestone and so then it kind of just was like going to fashion school backwards mm. and 
But, you, yeah. you know, me personally, like the one thing I can't stand about myself is my walk. I've been, you know, people have made fun of my walk the whole time. Do you think you can maybe just show me a little bit of uh, sure, like a baby. crash course on how, how to how I, I would mean, walk the runway? I mean, New York City is the best walking city in the world. So I mean, there's you know, a lot of walking. It literally is your runway. Like, yeah. You know, when you see some, well, somebody sees you walking down the street, like a friend or something, and they shout your name, but you don't hear. I'm always in my own little world, and I'm basically on the runway, just but I don't realize I'm doing it, and mm -hmm. I'm like, hey. Right, so, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me how to have, sure. yeah. Show me how to do the runway. Okay. All right, so I'm like a, I'm like a fast. So this is me walking. You know, this is me walking. You know, well, so. with my line Heatherette before, I'm coming out with a new one coming out in the spring and yes. in the fall. And is that makeup or is it? Is it It'll be cosmetics. Uh -huh. I did a line that cosmetics in the past, but this one's going to be a Richie Rich line and um, also clothing and everything like that. And excellent, fun. excellent. Music. Well, we almost have the same kind of jacket I know. I, was here. Say, I, I kind of got the memo, I guess. Yeah, we, yeah. We didn't plan I that, but something you know. completely differently. But I yeah, but the I'm glad we did. Calling here. Yeah, we're kind of like on the same. So, so, so. How, how do I walk down the runway? So a lot of times, like, on my runways, like, I, I'm not really the kind of designer, like, I'm known as parties and fun and, yeah. and confetti and just that kind of thing. Yeah, so definitely. Everything kind of goes, kind of like Betsy Johnson has always been, like, a mentor of mine. She's always been great. And so just like that really fun, you don't have to do a cartwheel if you don't want. But, I don't think I could do a cartwheel. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I like personality. Yeah. Um, I've never been very that, like, you look depressed or there's right. nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I do A lot of fashion do, shows, everybody's kind of pissed. Off, you know? A lot of my collections have like a, a beginning, middle, and the end. So sometimes in there, there is that more like seriousness and subdued, mm. subdued reality. Is that a word? It um, is now. So, anyways, I, I kind of say like, say you're a newbie off the, off the, off wherever you're from, the Georgia Peach. Where are you from? I'm originally from New Jersey. I kind of close enough to Georgia. Now. Easy boy. Yeah, sure. All right, say you just came into the city. You, you got an agent, right? Scouted you on the street, mm -hmm. and you're like, just like you said, you never walk. Yeah, so never. I was, I'm a sort of there. I always say kind of like. Some of the guys kind of like to be a guy. And you can kind of try, like, you can do, like, the Marley way, like, by the way, I'm a little, whoop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So some guys, I call it the Mark Jacobs boy walk. OK, we're going to do it right over okay. here. So let, let, let's try that. OK. <laughs> Are we getting on the floor? On the... Right on the stage there. Ooh. OK, an actual runway. It might be yeah. 10 feet, but it's a runway. It might fall off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, the boy walk, guy walk, it's kind of more like, I mean, you can put your personality into it, of course. It's kind of more like, <laughs> I can't even do it that way. And then you kind of just like stop, photographers are there, give a little boom, 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 boom. And then, or you can do more like, more like the, the European kind of male model, kind of like a little bit more swag to it, like, you want to use your body a little bit more. It's kind of like, yeah. It's kind of like you're dancing, like, while you're walking. Yeah, and there's usually music playing anyway, so you gotta yeah. see if you do it, so, you know. And we have two Molly girls here if they wanna come up and walk a little bit. Uh -huh. That'd be fun. Hey. <laughs> Let me try that. Sure. Let's see what we got here. I don't have heels on or anything, but what do we got? Let me see. You don't need heels, oh, baby. I'm gonna go like this. You got it. Hey, you just gotta get into it. It's all about personality. No, no not too good, huh? <laughs> Personality's the best. Boom. Hey. How's that? <laughs> I say boom. Hey, who's this guy over here? It's, it's Nate the Mime again. What are you doing here, Nate? He just shows up at any time he wants to. <laughs> Hello. Boom, boom. <laughs> how do you walk? I'm going to see you walk. Yeah. Come on, Nate. Let's show how you walk there. <laughs> we do a fashion show here. Sure. Boom. Hey. Boom, boom. Woo. Nice, nice, excellent. Well, well, oh wow, look what we have Miles here. How had that happen? <laughs> Show us how the born line works. Let's get some, we'll have some music there. Bum, bum, bum. Fabulous, she's got it. Mm -hmm. I think you've done this before. <laughs> That's Elise. Mm -hmm. well, thanks for coming, Elise. Of course. Yeah. And that's how you do a runway walk. Hey, just mix it up, baby. So, 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 Richie, you do have some brands coming out. Tell us a little bit about what's coming out this year. Oh, yeah, it's going to be Fun Electric. It's going to be all about it. It's going to come out this spring. Just look around for it. It'll be in the stratosphere. Nice, nice. Ooh. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. It was Thanks a pleasure having, having you. Thank you, girls. And thank you, girls, for coming. My next artist has some work that's going to captivate and open up your mind. Let's hear it for Jack Hodnett. 
<laughs> All right, have a seat, Jack. All right, thanks for coming on. Great to so, be here. So, so, so Jack's paintings are, have been behind us all night. I mean, oh, these there are they absolutely are. wild, wild paintings. So, so, so Jack, what do you, what's the name of this one over here? This was called Nethergate. Nethergate, well, it kind of looks like a Nethergate. I mean, you got, you know, uh, I guess Beezlebub up there and naked devil women flying around and people getting, you know, tormented and tortured like the gates of hell. It's all the best things in life. The best and most things in life are free sometimes. So I put the, uh, the uh, frame above there as if you were just entering this world. Mm. This nether gate. Yes. And the center character is named Tambank. Well, he's the swallower of souls. Ooh. Well, this is an absolutely terrifying but gorgeous painting. I love it. Thank you so much for bringing it in here. Oh. All right. And what's the other one we have over there? That's called World Within. It's much more of a positive, joyous thing. People dancing on a rainbow and just do, just doing the best things in life. Just happy, happy as can be. It, it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the detail in there is phenomenal. I mean, how long did it take you to make this painting? Uh, it's well over six months. Six months to do a one painting. Okay, that's 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 definitely some it's gigantic. Time. Now it was commissioned, right? But the guy never picked it up. You were telling me earlier. No, and thereby hangs a tail. See, while I was doing it, um, he got sent to prison for mail fraud. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I guess you couldn't mail these over to him. <laughs> and since he was, and since he went to prison, I guess that's where he's going to end up. You know, yeah, right? You know, <laughs> in another <nether> gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's great. Well, 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 Jack. I mean, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Oh, it was my pleasure. I mean, your, your artwork is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see some more stuff that you have in the future. Thanks very Thanks friendly. so much for coming in. Thank you, buddy. All right. Let's hear for Jack. Please put your hands together for Mr. Lee. <laughs> This is dedicated to the people of New Orleans and Zigaboo Martelesti. Too young, Zigaboo, too young, Zigaboo, too young, Zigaboo. Fuck the fella down in New Orleans. Yeah. Get the funkiest band that you've ever down and check them out, yeah. Meter still burning, gonna turn it out. Do ya, zigaboo, do ya, zigaboo, do ya, zigaboo. Music down there, spicy like a gumbo. So much to hear, yeah. Gonna have a smile from ear to ear. Yeah. When you look into the past, look into the eyes. We are leaves have seen the worst, but still the best is shines. Corporations pollute the law, and the government denies. But these people. Thank you. Take me to my music for 
you listen to Swamp Folk, yeah. The beat is at the devil's on Slam Dog, yeah. Come on! Alex is up and repeat so many more, yeah. Dr. John, open up. Thank you. All right. All right, let's hear it for Richie Rich tonight. Thank you for coming out. All right, we have Dale Noel from Two Model Management coming out. Thank you for bringing your model tonight, guys. Thank you. All right, and what was your name? Simone. Simone, okay, and yours? Elise. Elise, thank you so much for coming tonight. Well, that's our show tonight. I'm glad you guys had a good time. I hope you did as much as I did. Thank you for watching Art of Fashion TV. We're going to see you next time. Good night.